a separate video of like a get ready with me so I could catch y'all up to why I haven't been uploading videos. I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I'm gonna try the skunk stripe. I think that's what you call it. The skunk stripe little trend. We gonna try it. I like the stuff I have. Um, they didn't have any more Revlon hair dye box. So I got the dark and lovely, okay? To touch up, cause I, I dyed my hair black before. But you know, it kind of faded. So I'm gonna do a little touch up. So yeah, each. I'm using prism lights, violet. I got two packs just in case. Cause you never know. The toner I'm gonna use, the Wella Color Charm and 12A1210 Frosty Ash. Yeah. I got my, my bowl. My brushes, shower caps, cause I might deep condition my hair. I'ma have to probably. Um, I got some gloves and yeah. First is detangle my hair because yeah, I need to detangle it first and then I'ma part it. So see you guys in the next clip. take um, my time while I do that. Okay, so I parted my hair. So I'm gonna separate them, braid them down, and start on the black first. in it that came in the while I have that in there and then for like a few minutes and then I rinse it out then I'm gonna start the bleaching process sometimes when you dye your hair it starts to like stain your fingers so what I usually do is I put two gloves on each hand so my fingers won't get no stains on me but that works for me but you could try it now for the bleaching process we'll let these dim and I got this from Target it's supposed to be like a micro dry hair towel or something but yeah so i'm gonna use um one pack of the prism lights violet powder lightener and i'm gonna use 20 developer Five hours later. I'm gonna start from like the ends before I do the roots. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so 
I did this side first and when like I was starting to do this side, I saw the process like it was lifting. So, oh my God. Um, so yeah, it's lifting right now. You can see the difference. So I'm gonna leave this in for about like 10 minutes. And if I miss like a few spots, I'ma just, you know, rinse it out, bleach the parts I missed out, leave it in for another 10 minutes, and then we could get into the toner. I think it's gonna come out like really good. And my hair looks so uneven. It's okay. I'll do a quick trim trim. But I think this is gonna look so cute. Something new, you know, for 2022. So yeah, I have to go back because there's like a few spots, you know, that are missing. The ends are still like black, so I'm gonna put bleach right there. You know, touch it up for another, you know, 10 minutes. I want it like dead. We got this orange, like bleach it one more time. And then when I rinse it out, hopefully, it should be good. And then we can top it. So yeah, the second bleaching, it looks better. We still got that orange, but it's okay. We're gonna get into the toner. I'm leaving this in for about like 45 minutes. So yeah, I mean, it's turning purple. That means it's working. So it keeps touching my face. So my face is getting a little itchy. Look at my lashes. My lashes look good. Shout out to your lash medic. Mm -hmm. Making me look like I'm about to fly away. I'm gonna leave all her information in the description box, but yeah, they look good. Mm. <laughs> Let me stop. I'll be back um in the next clip. Okay, this is how it looks while it's toned, you know? We still got a few of the orange in there, but it's okay. I'm gonna let it slide, you know? I'm gonna deep condition my whole head and then um, after I deep condition it, I'm gonna style it. So in the next clip, you'll see my hair styled and everything. So it's the next day. Um, I just got back home from work. It's snowing outside, but this is the finishing look. It came out really good. It's like a few, few spots that are light, few that are dark, but it's okay. I did really good. It's cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.